the tooth fairy came. <laughs> Welcome back to our channel, Hume's Little Homestead. excited because the Tooth Fairy remembered to come. Thank goodness. The Tooth Fairy hasn't always been very consistent in this household. Anyway, today our water is being shut off because there is a pipe busted down the road somewhere. So normally this wouldn't be a big deal. I'd be like, hey kids, we're going into town to get Taco Bell for food. But it's day two of our eat from home challenge. So to get prepared, I woke up extra early. <laughs> The dollar about the tooth fairy came and put under my head because the pillow wasn't there. She moved the pillow, I think. Nice. I was asleep. I was away for an hour and she still came. Yes, they were settling down last night. That was difficult. Anyway, I got up extra early this morning, made sure all the animals had extra water, plenty of fresh water, and normally... I get out and get them water. It depends. Sometimes I'm out there at like 5 a.m. But since our trip, I have not been getting up as early. I've just been a little tired and just getting everything in order in our house. I don't know. I've just been a little run down, I guess. And so I, um, yesterday I didn't get out there until 9 a.m. And so I wasn't done watering until around 10. And so I'm like, oh, if the water is getting, because it's supposed to get shut off around 10. And so I wanted to make sure and get out there right at five and get up, get going. And so I got up and got all the animals watered, but I'm remembering there's one tree in the front I need to water right now. But anyway, so I got pulled out a bunch of water right now so that we can have water for cooking. So I filled up this pot and I filled up this pot and I filled up these two because Haley's like, oh, I really want hot chocolate today. So if they want hot chocolate, here's for like drinking water whatever else they want to use water for. I think that'll be enough for cooking today. Uh, we did good yesterday. We did. We had plenty of food. I mean, it was only one day, but I haven't gone shopping since June, like a big shopping trip since, since June. The last big shopping trip we went on was our trip. So that was just sandwich stuff and the ice cream. And I showed you all the stuff that we got in the RV for that New Mexico anniversary trip that we just went on. That's the last shopping trip that we've done. So we are literally trying to live off food storage here. And on that shopping trip, we also got eight gallons of whole milk for our baby. Because, I don't know, I personally don't really like freezing the milk, but we're getting better at it. The last month in June, all the ones I froze had busted along the side. Even though I opened it and poured some out, I screwed the lid on and it made the air. It I should have left it so that it could escape, air could escape, but I screwed the lids on tight. So anyway, if you're gonna freeze milk, what Ryan did, and it's working good, is he poured some out and squished the bottles and then tied, uh, tied on, <laughs> screwed on the lid. So that, that actually helped. So, so far the one he did, <laughs> <laughs> the one he froze worked a lot better than my last two attempts at freezing milk. So, oh, the last thing I'm going to show you before I get, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So many of the praying mantis hatched last night. So I thought that, oh, we're, I guess there's not going to be that many in this Uthaka, but there's like a million in there right now. Let me show you. It's a little creepy, so if you're creeped out by bugs, you might want to skip this part. Look how many are out. I cannot wait to release them all into the garden. They look fabulous and healthy. Time to go take them outside because they're hungry little guys. Ooh, it is super creepy looking though with how many. Holy moly, that's a lot. Okay, time to go release them.
second batch has been released. I don't know if I told you, but because the first Uthika hatched, I brought out our second one out of the fridge so that now in a couple of weeks, this second one will hatch and I will have another batch of praying mantis nymphs to release in about a month. So pretty exciting that our first batch, well, I've, I've released two batches so far from this one. Yesterday I released a small batch, probably about 20. And today that would look like hundreds, like hundreds of praying mantis. So really cool. And there's still more hatching. I got my Uthikas from the Nature's Good Guys, I believe is what it's called. Nature's Good Guys. I like to, I actually ordered from Amazon because I couldn't, their website was like sold out. So when I went to Amazon, it was still purchasing through Nature's Good Guys, but it was through Amazon. So I don't know, maybe they have a certain amount of orders allotted to Amazon or something, but that's how I did it this year. And yeah, I got the beneficial nematodes as well from them. and. I feel like they did their job. The alyssum that was getting pounded and attacked by flea beetles, it has totally, I have only seen one or two flea beetles recently and I released them a couple weeks ago. So I actually might want to order some more of those beneficial nematodes. Not for these 10 days though, because we're not ordering anything for these 10 days. Anyway, pretty excited about that and I wanted to show you. I just got done going through all of my girls' clothes to get rid of some to Goodwill and stuff. And they've outgrown a lot of their little underwears. And I had an idea. I was throwing them away because, I mean, I don't donate underwear to Goodwill. I know my husband and I kind of joke because we see people selling used underwear on, like, the online yard sales. And we just kind of think that's really gross. So... No offense if you're one of those people selling the underwear, but really, we think that it's really gross to sell used underwear. But I had this idea to cut them in half and then cut them down the side and it makes stri just strips of fabric and I can use these to tie up tomatoes. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Ready? So here's your underwear. Just cut it here. And here and then it kind of opens it up like that and then just cut it straight down the middle and you have two tomato ties from one piece of underwear I know it's kind of weird but I mean it's useful <laughs> So it's a little redneck, but I have two baskets now full of tomato ties. What will work for tomato ties? Just little strips of fabric. Anything you have will work. I also have pillowcases that I that are really old that I've been using too. I actually need to tie up the tomatoes this evening, so. Another thing I'm super excited about. Hi buddy. Did you eat in? It's very hot in our house today because the water is, the, a water line is being fixed and we have no water. Anyway, hollyhock seeds. My mother-in-law gave these to me. Thanks, Annette. Really cool. So I'm just gonna let them finish drying in this room and they should be good. And they'll fall down into the bag so I can collect them as they fall. So this is my third outfit for the day because it was so hot in our house. I was so sweaty. I've changed like three times. <laughs> the water's back on now and our cooler is trying to catch up, but it'll take it a minute. So I just I'm wanted to hungry. pop on and say, yep, everybody's getting hungry, what we're having for dinner and go through what we ate for the day. So in the morning, we did the instant oatmeal again. It was, uh, what flavors did you guys have? Caden had maple brown sugar. Levi had maple brown sugar. The girls had strawberries and cream. No, Hannah and Emmett shared strawberries and cream, and Haley had peaches and cream. And I just had a grapefruit. I had a uh, grapefruit. Oh, and we also had eggs. So they had they got some fresh I eggs. I didn't have an egg. Yeah, Caden doesn't like eggs, so he didn't have an egg. But the ones who liked eggs had an egg. And then for lunch we had. Do you want to tell them? Uh. The frozen burritos from oh, Sam's yeah. Club. So we had those, and so we went ahead and used those up. And tonight we are actually doing pinto beans and cornbread. So 
going back to my roots here, my southern roots. <laughs> Even though I was only living in Kentucky for eight years, cornbread is one of my favorite things ever. And if there were green tomatoes out there, I would make some fried green tomatoes. All our tomatoes are about this big. We do have some. I'm really excited tonight. I'm going to tie some up and hopefully put that on this video as well. And I need to find a way to make my beans and the bindweed that's growing really fast um, go over our rabbits for shade and I think I'm gonna have Ryan help me with that and probably put that on this video too. So anyway, that's what we're having. Yum! And Ryan, <laughs> Ryan added elk meat because he can't deal with my no meat beans. <laughs> Sorry. It's fine. <laughs> so I'm just saying we added elk meat that was in our freezer. Let's see if these work. I think that they'll work just fine. Oh, a ladybug! Gotta get a close up. Oh my gosh. Cool. Okay. your brother. Can't even tell that it's underwear. <laughs> Maybe you can, I don't know. Nope. This looks like fabric. Alright. Hmm. Hey Dad. Just a minute, Kaden. told you all that I was experimenting and kind of letting our tomatoes go a little wild instead of pruning them as much as I did last year. So far, get those. They should turn red pretty soon. I will trim this piece off and this off. And any leaves that are bug damage. What do you think about that, Emmett? Yeah. <laughs> oh, he knows how to open the gate? Yes. I didn't know that. Oh, you're a smart baby. Ryan thinks he's going to clothesline himself on it. I, I don't think mm -hmm. I am 100% certain that I will hit this. And I've boat. started training some of the weeds up it. If my beans won't hurry up and grow, I'll just let the weeds grow. <laughs> That'll be some shade for these guys. Excuse They're me? so hot. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Thank you. We are on day two. We finished day two of our challenge. Ryan is, and I have not gone to the store or shopped online. And we're doing good. I'm glad this is only a 10 day challenge though. Definitely. So we're glad that it's a short, shorter challenge. All right, bye. Thanks for subscribing if you have so far. If you haven't, please do.